folks, Alex from ABR Houston. I wanted to show you the next little thing about these tricky N54s when it comes to putting them back together again. These are the injectors that came out of this N54. Now, N54s were in 2007 and up 335s. Uh, they were then replaced by the N55s. Basically the same idea, but there's a different injector in the new ones. So we'll go off of these guys. Now they've had, I don't know, 12 different revisions of these and these are index seven. I started at one, right now we're at 12. So the client had asked me to remove his old injectors and put them into his new performance closed deck forged piston engine that we'll be shipping out to him very shortly. Now the thing is, is these are direct injection injectors. Now if you have any car knowledge, these look almost like a diesel injector to the point. They definitely don't look like a regular fuel injection. Now, they get put directly inside the cylinder, right next to the spark plug, and they act like a, like a diesel injector. They spray the fuel directly inside the cylinder, and it gives it much better uh, control over fuel and detonation. The thing is, though, is these little guys right here, these little Teflon seals, have to be replaced. Not maybe, not, you know, maybe I'll do it one or twice. You got to do it every single time. You can see, and I don't know if my phone will will focus on them, but that injector seal has conformed to the tip of this injector. And once you take it out of the cylinder, it's done with, because it conforms to each cylinder individually. If I, let's say, was taking care of a, a misfire diagnosis, and I had a problem on six, and I took it and I put it in three, and I took this injector, I took it out and just dropped it in here, the chances of this sealing to this type of hole that is in cylinder three is, is, is a probable, but there's always that chance of what happens is pr the pressure, this is incredible pressure inside the combustion chamber will force itself past this seal and act like a blowtorch on the aluminum and will damage the cylinder head. And once that happens, it's over with. So always replace these and always replace these. These are like a steel spring and they act like a little bit of a, I don't know, like a, like a cushion to, or a shock absorber. It allows the injector to move just a little bit while it's in the cylinder head because if it was rigid, it would crack. And so they gotta have a little bit of flex. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take off this ring. And there's a special pair of tools that you can buy and they're basically just cutters. And you stick them on there and you cut it off. So by cutting it off, you're gonna get basically a ring now. So this ring is where the new injector is going to sit. Now I'm gonna have to put the phone down because I gotta do this with two hands. So hold on one second. Okay, so this is a little adapter. And it's just like a cup kinda. And it sits on here. And what it'll do is it'll slightly expand that Teflon ring so you can push it down onto the injector. All right, and now that has been pushed on. So the next thing we have to do is we have to compress these seals. So you've got, this is the last one, this is the first one, and that's the second one, or the other way around. You gotta figure out which one. There's a, a basically a, a, a process. Big, kind of big, tight. So this guy goes on, and you press it on there, and what this is gonna start doing is well, squishing that seal so it'll fit in the cylinder head. Now, really, there's not much, a lot of time you have to put into it. There's one. Here's the next one. All right. And then the last one. This one takes a little bit of effort. I might have to put the phone down. Oh, okay. Move on. So, this one you got to let, let it sit for a couple seconds. Now, what you need to do now is replace this little seal at the same time, and I will replace that. Ta-da! Replaced. Uh, so now, you have about 30 seconds or so to take this off and stick it in the hole. So you got to make sure that also these index numbers, like this one is a 584226. This is important to make sure that this has also been installed into the engine computer called the DME. Each one of these have been calibrated, like that one is uh, 577203. See, they're all different numbers. These numbers are a calibration number, and if not, you're gonna get a rough running issue, possibly a check engine light as well. So, you're gonna take this guy off. We're gonna take this guy off, and we're gonna 
index it, stick it in the hole, and then push down on it until it fits in that little groove. So now that the injector has been pushed and fully seated, there's a little tab down there and it fits in that little groove. Well, we start the process all over again. Ding, 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 ding. Stick them in there and you'll be good to go. If a technician or a shop does not replace these seals, I would maybe go find another shop that knows what they're doing with these N54s. The last thing you want to do is have an injector ruin the cylinder head because of just a simple little seal. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Here's our information, and uh, we're always welcome to, to questions or, or comments or any other explanations, and I hope you have a great night.